basement engineer. Um, due to some unfortunate circumstances, I haven't been able to get this out for a week. Now, the unfortunate circumstances that I mentioned is all because of this outlet right here. This is what I used to plug the Tesla coil into, and I had the wire run all the way out here so that no interference hopefully would get into the house. Now, another thing that I did not know was that that outlet was part of a whole GFI circuit, and that this outlet down in here was part of that circuit. On this outlet, we have plugged in our internet router and our modem. You see, this is actually our second modem because the first one I fried that night. My parents were not too happy about that. So because of that, I haven't been able to fire this thing up for about two weeks because I was waiting for this filter to come from Amazon right down there. I have it wired in series with the house wiring. And this should, should prevent dangerous voltages from coming back inside the house and wrecking our expensive electronics. But there's only one way to find out, and I'm going to have to wait until dark for that. As you can see, it's finally dark enough to do this. Here we have the coil all set up. We have our wire coming in from the house. And here we have our two ground wires coming off do some three-foot copper pipe slamming to the ground. So I didn't get the kind of power output that I wanted to get from this thing. I was expecting to get around two feet of arcs, but that's for a few different reasons. One of them being that I'm using a bucket for a capacitor. I might be getting some commercially produced capacitors here soon. Another being my power supply here with the Neon Sound Transformer. 60 milliamps is decent, but it's not quite what I want. Which is why I have unpotted it now, moved all the tar here, and been in the process of modifying it to get some more power. Be sure to look for that in another video. Thanks for watching.